Well done. Uh, give me one second. Hey, I thought we said we're not going to play that song again. Can we work on that? Okay. Okay. All right. Sorry about that. Sorry you guys had to see that. I hate. Didn't want to be that mean. All right. Welcome back to Mornings on Main Street. Let's bring in our good friend now, Jason Goosby. There he is there. Uh, getting his spark on this morning, are you? <laughs> hey, they, uh, those musicians, they must be union musicians. They don't listen. They don't. I mean, hey, at 801, they're gone. And I can't touch their stuff either, man. Hey, Ridiculous. speaking of that, what's what's the guitar behind you? I've been meaning to ask. Is Do you play? I do play. Okay. What is that behind you? Uh, it's a guitar. Yeah. Like, what, what, what kind of guitar? It is a uh, Fender Caster Stratus 2.5. Oh. Uh. <laughs> it's, uh, it's pretty. Uh, my neighbor actually gave me that guitar. He's a country singer. His name's Tim Duggar. He's really good. Just played the Opry a few weeks ago. Heard me in the garage playing and brought a guitar over and said, hey, I got a lot of guitars. I hear you're starting out. And then gave it to me. And this, he is a fantastic guitar player. He's from Alabama. Uh, he does all the NASCAR thing. He's got a sold-out event coming up in Bristol on New Year's Eve. But he brought it over and gave me the guitar. And so that's just the story real quick of people like, oh, I want to do this one day. I want to play guitar. Well, why don't you? Well, I don't find the time. Find the time, right? So right. I sat on my couch. I Googled easiest on YouTube. What's the easiest song with two chords? Horse with no name by America. And <laughs> you play it. I mean, and it's I, I learned how to play it that night, and then I took off from there. So I'm not good, but I know how to play a little bit. You know, I play. Didn't I play. ask. But. Yeah. Uh, so guitar people are... It's funny about your buddy. Guitar people are there. I don't. I don't know what it is with guys. They have. We have more stuff than what we need. But guitar people are just. They have bunches of them. I only have right. three. So anyway. I saw you comment on Tony Arada's Facebook page a few weeks ago about some. Of, he wrote the song "The Dance," mm -hmm. and so I wrote underneath you. It's like, hey, Jason, leave Tony alone. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> I didn't see it. Oh my gosh. I didn't see. I'm sorry yeah. about that, man. <laughs> um, you know, I'm getting to the point now where I'm used to these internet trolls. You know how it is. I just kind of just tune them out. But yeah, but I told you a real estate friend of mine, his two kids love you. I mean, they, oh. anything you put on the internet, they go and find it immediately and so excited that you're part of this show and they're watching right now. So I think it's great, man. You've, you've carved out a little niche for yourself. I don't know what it is, but you've done a good job. <laughs> it's the ravishing good looks. It's Maybe this, it man. It's this. It's beautiful, right? Thank God. For you. It is. Bruce Willis. Thank you, Bruce Willis, for making this popular. All yeah. right. Busy week before Christmas or no? It actually is. Uh, you know, uh, for the I, I, I wrote up an offer last night, and I feel good that it's uh, going to get accepted. So, uh, yeah, I uh, went, went yesterday after church, had a guy call me and said, can we go look at this property? And I said, Yes, and it was two hundred fifty thousand in Wilson County, and and uh, and I called the listing agent last night and said, "Man, how many? What you got working on this?" And he said, "Well, it's only you and one other person went and looked at it today to come back on the market." And I, a lot of people take off, man, and I'm <laughs> I do I'm, I am going to take off later to the week, but that's one of the things, Joe. You know, I mean, it, it, when you're kind of in business for yourself, and uh, you you got to be self-motivated and, and you got to be there, you, you know, and if, if you call me and say, I want to go look at this unless I'm going, unless it's Sunday mo morning before 12 PM, because that's when we go to church or I'm, a, you know, a birthday party or something with my family, we'll go, you know? So, um, yeah, it is pretty busy. Look, I read a story earlier about Mount Julian. I know you're all things Wilson County about adding more liquor stores. And there's that, uh, edict where they can't be so close to each other you know when you do things like this and the word gets out that we added more liquor stores not to say a liquor store but business as well i just kind of think you know that that shows the growth and everything that goes on the community in wilson county i don't think it's going to stop jason i don't think it's going to stop for a long time yeah i don't, I don't know if you and i talked about this specifically but uh, back in the old days and <laughs> before civilizations and before they in modern agriculture People followed the herd, right? You followed the herd and you went around and you, you killed the woolly mammoth and you ate. And that's what you did to survive. Well, nowadays, the herd, the modern day herd are jobs. And because uh, that's what we, we have to have money to buy food. So um, and 
we're just really ripe with jobs uh, right here, you know, uh, and have been for a long time. And it, you can say, well, the whole country's doing that right now. Well, I mean, we've been in this phase, Joe, for how many years now? I mean, really with 840 opening up and, and we have so many logistical jobs uh, in Wilson County because of our uh, close proximity to all the interstates. I mean, you can you, you're you can you can be in California in, um, I mean, you know, 18 hours or 20 hours, depending on, you know. So, I mean, um, those jobs, Wilson County, our leadership has done a really good job over the years. People that have already out of power now, they've done a good job creating jobs and being business friendly. So how much different will this a year from now look than what we're seeing today? I mean, I mean, I know, like so we talked, it's not going to stop growing and everything and more businesses coming here. I mean, any rumblings of big projects or big things that are coming down the pike? Because there always is. Right. Um, uh, there are, you kind of put me on the spot there, Joe. Uh, so, well, I mean, overall, I'm just saying, I mean, there is, we look now, I mean, a year from now, things get grown. I mean, the Facebook plant that's being built up in Gallatin that's going on up there, which is going to yeah. be massive and other things The build out, you know, I we've talked about this before the speedway. If you go on 840, haven't been down there a while. I mean, both sides of eight of 840 are just packed with, new businesses. I mean, right. if the whole depot's got a deep uh, center there then what Amazon's doing. I mean, it's not going to stop. Yeah. There there's, especially out there on 840 and there's still so much. I know it, to us that live here, you're just like everything is going to be full before long. There's still lots of, uh, <laughs> lots of land out there to be developed. There's even some tracts of land within Davidson County that haven't been developed yet. So yeah, here in Wilson County, we still have plenty of, Plenty of growing to do. I think, and, and you know, and I'm going to try to find out a little bit about this. You asked about this a couple of weeks ago. I, I would like to try to find out um, uh, what we think our time frame is for building another high school. I know we just got Green Hill. I know we got just got Green Hill open, but I mean, uh, so this is its second year, right? And um, so th there has to be a time frame for when there will be we'll be building another one and so uh really we look we're looking a lot like rutherford county maybe yeah. 10 to 15 years ago you know do you remember i mean you know i mean you've lived here you're a lifelong lifer you're a military yeah. lifer but i mean it hasn't been that long ago when it was riverdale oakland and river it was riverdale and oakland that yeah. was it yeah. <laughs> Over there in Rutherford County, Mount Julian, Lebanon. That's it. Yeah, right. Watertown, and um, so I mean, and you look over there. I remember when Blackman was built. As a matter of fact, you know, good, cool, cool connection with us. Uh, Bobby Wells, coach uh, Walter Wells' brother, was the coach over there at Blackman right. for a little while. And uh, was he was it the head coach? I think he was. He was head coach. coach. Yeah, yeah, Blackman, and um, and so and, and now we got all all those other schools over there i remember when Siegel was built and so um it's not it gonna is, stop it's it's not gonna stop what we're seeing right now is the city of lebanon has voted on um basically an, an impact fee uh, and and what that is designed to do is to slow down growth a little bit uh but make growth pay for itself some yeah but, but really be honest with you people it's just going to add to the price of homes. But I get that. Well, they should charge you an impact fee every time you leave Taco Bell. Hey, let's uh, <laughs> let's take a break. We'll come back. Celebrity birthdays. You ready? Yeah. Okay. I'm proud of you, man. You got you, did you do good last week or you get beat? I don't remember what it was. I mean, yeah, I won last week. I won the last two weeks. I think. Congratulations. Yeah. All right, we'll see how you do. All right, we'll come back with celebrity birthdays with the inside scoop with Gooseby next year. Morning, Joe Main Street. Yeah.